This tutorial will provide Trinet Payroll Administrators a step-by-step -step walkthrough regarding the setup process for payroll reimbursement. Administrators can set up the payroll integration by signing into Expense Cloud through HR Passport. Once logged into Expense Cloud, the administrator will need to visit Settings, Payroll to install the payroll integration. Administrators will need to click Install to integrate Expense Cloud with Trinet Payroll. Employees will also need to visit Settings Payroll to activate their own payroll integration. Once Trinet Payroll has authenticated, the administrator will be redirected to the configuration page. The configuration page can be visited again by viewing Personal Settings, Reports, Trinet Payroll, Edit. Configuration setup allows the administrator to export expenses as a detailed expense report or report data only. The detailed report export will display each individual expense tied to the payroll code mapped in company settings categories. Report data will allow the administrator to send a summary of each individual expense as one reimbursement payroll code only. It is recommended to select the report and detailed expense data for the configuration setup. Click Save to visit the Trinet payroll mapping page. The payroll codes can be assigned by selecting the pencil icon to edit the category. The payroll codes are provided by Trinet and are non-customizable. Click Save to have the payroll code applied to the parent and subcategories. The payroll administrator will now have the ability to export expense reports for reimbursement. The administrator will need to view all reports in Reports Company. The administrator has the option to send the expense report individually by clicking on the report name. There will be a drop-down selection shown with Trinet Payroll. Select this drop-down to export the expense report for reimbursement by clicking Submit. If there are multiple expense reports to be reimbursed, then the payroll administrator can select the multiple expense reports in Reports Company. Once selected, the administrator will need to click Submit to Payroll. Click Refresh to view the status of the report. The payroll export status will display completed once finished. The administrator can now visit HR Passport to process and complete the expense reimbursement for payroll. The payroll administrator can access the exported expense reports by viewing HR Passport, My Company, Payroll Entry. The payroll entry page will display the pay periods and pay groups. In this case, the company will process the expense reports under the monthly pay period. The administrator will need to select Load Expenses to populate a list of all employees who have submitted expenses that will need to be reimbursed. The Load Expenses page will allow administrators to have the option to move or undo expenses to the pay sheet. For each employee, the administrator can hit the plus sign to view the additional information regarding the employee's expenses. The expense report name and the dates included are shown. The expense breakdown is based on the payroll code, which is also displayed per employee. The company will need to select in Expense Cloud whether they want to export the expense report in one payroll code or have the expenses broken down by different payroll codes. This step is set up on the configuration settings in Expense Cloud. The pay sheet status is shown as new. The administrator will need to select the employees that need their expenses moved to the pay sheet. A new pop-up is shown. Are you sure you want to move the selected reports to the pay sheet? The administrator will need to select OK. The pay sheet status will now be updated to moved. The moved amount will be displayed in the column for total moved, and the total new will display for the employee expenses who have not been moved to the pay sheet. The grand total displays all the expenses for reimbursement. After the expenses have been moved, the admin will now need to go back to the payroll entry page and select the link initiated to view the pay sheet. The special pay column will display the expense report information for each employee. The admin can also manually enter an expense amount on this page as well. The administrator will need to view the end of the pay sheet to select three options. Save, Prepare to Send, and Cancel. By saving the pay sheet, the administrator can return to the pay sheet to edit. The administrator will need to select Prepare to Send to submit the pay sheet scheduled for the next on-cycle paycheck to be paid out to the employees. If the payroll sheet is completed, then the administrator will need to select Prepare to Send. The notification displayed will ask to confirm by clicking OK. The payroll entry has now been completed. The administrator will need to verify on this page that the payroll sheet is correct. If correct, the payroll administrator will select Submit to Trinet to authorize payment for the payroll sheet. The payroll process is now completed. The employees that have submitted expense reports for reimbursement can now review in Expense Cloud that their expense report has been marked paid to payroll.